Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. So it seems like Boxing Scene got an article today talking about, once again, the hating ass Klitschko brothers. They're once again out here hating on my main man, Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, the lineal heavyweight champion, the man who beat the man. They out here hating once again. You know what I mean? Now, I, I, can, un I can understand why Vladimir would hate. But why the heck is Vitaly hating? Is it because his brother got his ass whooped? Is this the fact that Tyson Fury basically beat Vladimir Klitschko from pillar to post from beginning to the end? Almost a whitewash. I think I gave uh, Vladimir Klitschko maybe two rounds in that fight. But, you know, Boxing Scene has an article out today, man, and they quoting these two. And like I said before, they once again hating on the Gypsy King. According to Vitaly Klitschko, and I quote, Tyson Fury is the world champion of talking. Trash talking. I wish him all but the best. But what he did was not good for boxing and that is my personal opinion, said Vitaly Klitschko. Right now, Anthony Joshua is the world champion. Very soon, Joshua will be a world star. And after that, a boxing legend. End quote. God, then can you say swinging from the nuts of Anthony Joshua? Yo, man. What's up with Vitaly, man? Why he got all this bad stuff to say about the Gypsy King? What is he talking about? Trash talking is not good for boxing. Trash talking is what boxing definitely is, is made for boxing. You know what I'm saying? Like, wh wh why do you think fighters like Adrian Braun remains relevant? Why do you think Muhammad Ali and all his greatness that he done outside the ring, why he was such a major attraction inside the ring? Don't sit back and say that because you and your brother did not have the ability to talk trash. Because y'all didn't. You know, trying to talk with them... Accents that y'all got, not to mention y'all just acting like y'all some humble dude. Like, hey, yo, I love what Shannon the Cannon did to Vladimir Klitschko. Followed him around the restaurants, caught him in the middle of a lake. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I eat what you eat, champ. I eat what you eat. Man, that's what boxing is all about. See, this is the reason why when Vladimir Klitschko was the reigning heavyweight champion, that was like one of the most born errors in boxing. It's very forgettable. I'm sure that most people, when you look up that era of boxing during that time, you're going to have to go back to boxing scene. I mean, box, I mean, box rec, because you ain't going to remember a lot of that stuff right off the top of your head because it was boring. It was fighters like Tyson Fury and Adrian Bronner and Keith Thurman when he was coming up. Don't duck me, son. It was fighters like that that brought the excitement back to boxing. And if we would have left champions like Klitschko, Remain champion, and if they, if they would, I mean, I ain't gonna say let, but if he would have remained champion, yo, this era of boxing would have been born. Now we got my main man Bomb Squad. Now we got my main man Tyson Fury, and they got it lit again. And y'all hating, y'all sitting over there sour, hating on, on, on because they got the gift of gab and y'all don't. Now, if you feel as though Anthony Joshua is the more better fighter, that's your opinion. You know what I mean? We understand why you would think that. You know. You know what I mean? I guess because Anthony Joshua knocked your brother out and Tyson Fury just boxed circles around your brother. So, I mean, I could understand why you might want to say that. Truth be told. So, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Now, according to Vladimir Klitschko, he says, and I quote, I believe a full, complete fighter is Anthony Joshua. He has been active, more active, and he has got this talent of being strong and mobile. AJ was born on April 29th in London of last year because he took punishment as well. He got up, he continued, and he won the fight. He had it not easy. I think that made him better and trust his own skills. Okay, that's your opinion, Vladimir. Basically, you telling me that AJ whooped your ass worse than Tyson Fury did. And so you feel as though he's the better fighter. Okay, that's your opinion. But stylistically, I think if Tyson Fury comes back, the way he once left, we'll see what he looks like on what June whenever he's fighting. Yo, I think his style is better than Anthony Joshua's style. I think the fact that Anthony Joshua gasses out in fights so early is a problem. Fighters like Tyson Fury would get in his head and expose that. Will dance circles around him, keep the jab on him, make it a problem for him to get close. 
You, on the other hand, came in much, I mean, Vladimir came in much lighter, trying to be nimble, trying to do a Tyson Fury. And this is the reason why most people said he. this is the best that he looked in years. Because he did take a, 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 a couple notes out of the playbook of Tyson Fury when he fought Vladimir, I mean, when he fought Anthony Joshua. So you, you, for you to say that, why didn't you balk up like AJ? You was always a big boy, Vladimir. If you think that AJ is the more complete fighter and he's no great, so this, his, his power and all this other stuff, then why didn't you balk up? Why did you do what Tyson, why did you do more of what Tyson Fury did than what AJ would have done? And you look good. So imagine a fighter who naturally fights that way get into the ring with Anthony Joshua and try to put it on him. Maybe AJ has learned the lesson. Maybe you gave him the lesson that he needed. I won't deny that. Maybe AJ learned the lesson by him getting, getting on that canvas and getting up. Truth be told, yeah, that's the major learning experience for a fighter. I can't deny that. AJ, tr tr truth be told, could have came into his own that night. And that's the one thing I will say that I would agree with with Klitschko. But don't say his style is so more, much more complete and it's so much more this and so much more that. When you clearly more so adopted the style of a Tyson Fury than an Anthony Joshua. Now, of course, my main man, Gypsy King, re re replied back to all of this. You know what I mean? And according to Tyson Fury, and I quote, Vitaly, you say I'm the trash talking champion. Yes, I am. And it worked against your brother. Vladimir keeps talking Anthony Joshua up because he gave him a 50-50. Talk me up and you couldn't land a blow on me. Man up and tell the truth. Stop being a sore loser, end quote. I agree with Tyson. For, yeah, that could be it too. Yeah, Anthony Joshua did give Klitschko a very good deal. Financially, on top of that, I'm sure Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua pulled some serious strings and got that WBA title involved in that fight when neither man had it. I remember that the, uh, Joshua was willing to pull out of that fight if the WBA wasn't involved. So, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, like Tyson Fury said, Klitschko got hooked up. So, of course, he loves Anthony Joshua. He probably loved Eddie Hearn, too. And see, if he would have... I don't know. Maybe he does. He, I think, honestly, Vladimir Klitschko will honestly come back for a fight with Tyson Fury. That's how much Tyson Fury got into his head. I think he comes back for that fight. But, yeah, he got hooked up by AJ and, and her. He got to fight for a title he ain't had. He got to get a nice uh, a split of the fight. He got hooked up. So, of course, you love Anthony Joshua. We understand what's going on here. So it is what it is, man. These two dudes need to stop hating on Tyson Fury, man. All because he beat him. All because he got it in his head. Made him look stupid. That was the worst Vladimir Klitschko that we have seen in years since he got stopped. You know what I mean? Like, look, man. That was the worst. And it was all due to the fact that Tyson Fury had got into the head of Klitschko. Confused Klitschko. Klitschko didn't know if he was coming or going in that fight. He was in the Matrix. He was in the mixing bowl. And that's the worst that any fighter probably, other than being him being knocked out, but for 12 straight rounds. That's the worst any fighter has ever made Klitschko look. And this is when he was still actually champion and had all the belts, unlike when Joshua beat him. So, hats off to my main man, Gypsy King. We know what went down during that time, and we ain't going to let Klitschko try to change that. He can hate all he want, both of them. But if they want to keep hating, how about they just... You know, they feel as though it's like that. Get back in the ring before you get too old. I think Vitaly's still like champion emeritus or something. And, yo, I'm sure they'll welcome Vladimir back with open arms. You can't do all this talking as a fighter or a former fighter and not willing to back that shit up. So it is what it is. So to the next video, don't forget to subscribe. Main Man Made Man Twitter, Made Man 511, Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum, Google Plus Main Man Made Man. It's crazy, man. Hating on the Gypsy King. Gypsy King always getting hate. He got hate before he was a champion. He get hate after he a champion. Yo, us true boxing fans, we riding with the Gypsy King. Real talk. So to the next video. Peace out.